I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hey, you guys, let's take a look at your weekend reading. Let's see what messages there are coming up for the collective for this weekend. Okay. All right, you've got stabbed in the back. Oh, that's just, hey, wonderful. Just wonderful. And then you have karmic relationship and... Oh, that one almost flew out. Let's see. And you got night. Not today. Okay. <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Let's take a look. Friday, stabbed in the back. What's going on here? Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay. So Friday, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, you got the devil. Okay. Friday looks like Too much of a burden to carry. Um, <clears throat> coming to the end of something here. Um, uh, Friday feels like you're getting over something here on Friday. You're just not dealing with something. And, and I really feel like the whole weekend is pretty much that energy. Um, I just kind of like stabbed in the back is not literal. It's figuratively. Okay. It just feels like. There's some kind of monkey on your back kind of energy that, you know, maybe has just been there for too long. Friday looks like you're separating yourself from some kind of devil energy, something that you've just been carrying around, some burden for way too long. And you're cutting it loose. You're cutting it loose on Friday. Um, could that be a person? Yes, it could be a place. It could be a thing, whatever it might be. It could be an addiction, some type of situation that is just not serving you. Um, Friday might just be like you're coming to the end of it. You're just exhausted. It's just like you're done with it. <laughs> you're just done with it. Um, you hit some kind of, you know, you bottom out. You hit some kind of rock bottom kind of thing with the Ten of Wands for sure. Um, and that kind of frees you, releases you. It gives you like this Six of Wands energy. Like you're, you hope, you hope, I want to say, you hold victory over the situation by letting go of something here. Okay. Friday, for sure. It's, it's a little bit of awakening here. Definitely. From some devil energy. Now, Saturday, you have karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving yourself. So it kind of all segues into each other over this weekend. So it must be some kind of relationship, whether it's romantic or platonic, whatever it is. Friendship, work relationship of some sort. Let's take a look here. Okay. Page of Swords. I feel like this reading is going to be short, which is fine. Let's just keep it simple. Straight to the point. Um... Yeah, I feel like, okay, they're saying um, there is a karmic here, um, someone that you're letting go of, something that you're just like letting go and loving yourself. I feel like there is an energy of someone like you see clearly, you definitely see clearly that someone you kept giving your love to, um, that you, someone couldn't commit, they couldn't make, they couldn't make a decision, they weren't being fair. Um, or they were trying to be fair, or they were just, maybe they're being fair to you and too many other people. I feel like someone here is, like whoever this person is that you are making this decision to cut out of your life or just be done with, um, they're definitely going to be stalking and spying for sure, trying to find out what's going on. You might just seriously not even say anything. You might find something out about like a karmic 
something that you kind of already felt like was sketchy anyway. Um, and you might just decide over this weekend to just take the phone off the hook, <laughs> so to speak. You know, I know we don't do that anymore, but just maybe put someone on silent or just like you're not answer calls or just not respond i feel like you might ghost some of you might actually say something <clears throat> excuse me or call somebody out but honestly um i feel like this person um it's going to trigger them i will tell you that um any kind of lack of response or saying something to someone or calling somebody out about something you find out or something you, you know like you find out about something um that someone was deceptive with you or, or just with that devil energy, they're definitely going to try to kind of like, with that four of cups, try to make it like offer their love, you know, that kind of thing. But I see you being indifferent, being indifferent or apathetic to anything they have to say. You know, um, I mean, you've got justice here, so you're pretty much like bringing the gavel down on this situation for sure. You know, justice is served. This is karma, which is what the karmic relationship thing is here. Like, I feel like it's karma is being served here for sure. And then Sunday, you've got not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still being angry. So this whole weekend is pretty much like, leave me alone. <laughs> don't bother me. I'm not saying you should do this. Listen, I'm not giving advice at all. I don't know what you should do. I'm just kind of seeing like this is possibly what could be happening for you over this weekend so yeah somebody's calling you know or trying to get a hold of you phone ringing off the hook trying to get a hold of you you don't want to talk to somebody here you're not dealing with them you're avoiding you're avoiding this whole situation you don't want to talk to somebody now maybe some of you have already gone through this and this is just an, a continuation of all of this through this weekend um, there's definitely going to be momentum of someone reaching out. Let's see. Two of Wands. Nine of Cups. Yep. Nine of Swords. Two Nine Nine. Okay. Um, <laughs> so... What are they trying to say here? I mean, I feel like Sunday is like you're purposely, <coughs> you made plans like not to talk to, you're purposely not talking to this person. Yes, you're, you're per like this is a plan. Like you are purposefully, intentionally, I feel like it, it's like, it kind of feels like a little bit of payback. Yeah, you're kind of giving karma yourself. You're doing this intentionally to, it looks like, get back at somebody here. You're purposely, I mean, part of it might be too because you're kind of hurt. But the, the initial reaction here is like you're purposely not answering to give a little karma, give a little karmic justice back to somebody here, not making yourself available. Yeah, it's it's a little like you got a little smugness going on here with the nine of of cups and you know hey guess what you're human you're feeling the way you're feeling i guess what's whatever's going on here you know um and it, it has a lot to do with anxiety and stress i feel like because you're stressed like the way you're coping with something here that you find out or that you have already found out from before <clears throat> Sure, sure. Should you be perfect and cope a particular way and deal with things perfectly, a perfect way? Yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody says, oh, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. Well, you know what? We all strive to be better people, don't we? But sometimes we fall short. So the way you're handling something is the way you're handling it. You know, are, are, there's, are there lessons to be learned? Of course, always. It looks like here, um, are you, are you, do you feel like you could handle it better? Maybe, but do you care right now? No. Um, it looks like you are just, this is how you're dealing with it. And you're purposefully not answering the phone, partially because you have a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, you're having a hard time sleeping. You, you just, it's affecting you. Your thoughts, your nightmares, your dreams, your anxiety level is high. And the other part of you is like, I'll show them. Yeah, 
that's what I feel like is happening over this weekend. You know, you could be dealing with like a very, like it's karmic. So it's triggered something in you. You could be dealing with, like, if you're dealing with the devil, I mean, <laughs> you know, you're rebuking the devil and who cares how they feel? You know, the devil's sinister, that devil energy. So, oh gosh, this is a rough, like you're trying to free yourself for sure. You're definitely trying to free yourself. You're taking big risks right now here for yourself. Um, let me see what else they want you to know. I feel like this story, this message, yeah, was completely straightforward. Completely straightforward. You're trying to free yourself from this love relationship. Mostly feels like love or some type of partnership or deep partnership. Uh, either someone you trusted or some type of connection that you felt you you could be vulnerable with someone and something happened for sure something happened yeah something happened that made you question if this love was real look something happened that made you question if this was if this was real oh here my little buddy here my little buddy okay let me see. Any other messages? Any other messages for the collective? And just so you know, my my heartfelt sympathies go out to you if you're going through something really difficult right now. Especially with that Nine of Swords. If you felt like you were deceived or something happened to you, hear what I see. I can tell you what, your test of faith and boundaries, like your boundaries are being tested, your faith is being tested for sure. Um, you're going through something pretty serious right now. Feels like you need to get closer to the closer to your angels, closer to spirit, to to God, to your Savior, whomever you call the one who's going to release you of your struggles and give you strength. Yeah, you've got this toxic, toxic toxicity something's got a hold of you breaking the chain seems impossible take it a day at a time healing doesn't happen overnight face your fear pray for guidance and ask to be lifted out of this this is a time of deep struggle but know that you're not alone got anger and a no-win situation happening here some of you just need a girl's or a guy's night out just to distract yourself from your anger and your pain a little temporary time out Yep, so I'm going to leave that reading there for you. Let me just get a chart real quick. If there's anything here you need to know? Wow. Craziness. That's weird. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Hold on a sec. Okay. So you've got a saw. I don't know what the name of this is called. I'm sure it's a specific type of a, a name of a specific type of saw, but this is definitely, um, it's got a lot of teeth on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of teeth looks like you're in bite mode uh something here you need to saw something off some of you might want to saw somebody's leg off or <laughs> do something i don't know <laughs> there's definitely saw off a limb or um yeah there's definitely a need here to um cut something away for sure um, this is super super significant for someone the symbol of a saw please don't literally do that okay because i don't want to be responsible please i'm not giving you advice of what you should do with this situation <laughs> especially with to do with a saw um maybe you're just you know i don't know watching some some halloween movies or something this week maybe that'll help you some i don't know i don't know i'm just be careful all right you guys i'm gonna leave that there i hope that you have some type of light and happiness and joy over this weekend you can Find something joyful that make you happy over this weekend. If this is your reading and this is something you're going through, if it's not, lucky you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back here on Monday. All right, take care. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the peace.